Hello everyone. Good morning. I'm Nazifa, and I'm going to teach you science, a very interesting subject. And we are going to start with the first chapter of food. Where does it come from? If you remember, 22nd of March, the first lockdown that was declared by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. You must have seen your parents. They panicked. They started rushing towards the groceries. You must have seen in the news that people are rushing towards the stores to collect the daily essentials, the necessity commodities. When I say daily essential, it includes all the food items that are required, your daily necessary things that were supposed to be at home, because you never know what condition was supposed to be next. And slowly, slowly, the lockdown increased. In the beginning, it was difficult for us to get all the essential commodities. It was difficult to get vegetables. It was difficult to get milk. It was difficult to get many other things. But later on, government decided to keep the grocery stores open. The vegetable vendors were coming near your houses to sell the vegetables, right? So why was this step taken by the government? Can we think about it? Yes, because food is essential for the survival of every living. I say every living being it includes plants, animals also, and your essential communities includes all the food items. Maybe cereals, maybe pulses, maybe fruits, vegetables, which are essential for us to survive. It is essential for us to live. Okay, you all are at home. You must be telling mama to cook everything sometime. But how she would have cooked if there was nothing? So thank you to the government to provide us with this essential commodities which were required at this crucial time. So let us start with the first chapter: food. Where does it come from? I'll share a small PPT with you, and we'll make the chapter interesting. So the first chapter that is food. Where does it come from? If my question to you is food, where it, does it come from? After looking at the first slide, you will just say plants. Am I right? Yes. So again, when we are saying food and food, the parents rush towards the groceries to buy the commodities. Why was this? Because it is important. So let us study the importance of food. Okay. So food is essential for the survival for the. Need it is a need for every living being to survive. Yes, for a certain period of time, for an entire day, if you're angry with mama, you don't eat. Yes, you can survive throughout the day, but till the evening, you feel a little bit tired if you don't eat anything. Think about when you come to school without eating anything in the morning. Ah, ma'am, ma I woke up late. I could not eat anything because my bus came early. Then you come to the class, and by second period, you're just tired and not. Ready to listen to what the teacher is saying? Why? Because there is no energy in the body to survive for that particular minute, right? Uh, so you feel like eating, ma'am. I'm hungry. When will be the break? When is going to be the third period getting over? This all questions keep on coming. You feel tired because the fuel has got over and the speed of your body is decreasing and decreasing, right? So this food acts as a fuel to your body. As your vehicle requires fuel to run, your body also requires fuel, which is food, and it provides with energy to do work. Work can be any work. It means you you play, you uh, are at home painting something, helping mama in the kitchen, doing something. Everything needs energy, and this energy is provided by the food that you eat. Next thing I would like to add to it is it is essential for a growth, repair, wear and tear of our cells. When I say it is essential for growth, means you are now you are in fifth standard. Okay, you have come to sixth standard. You have grown tall. Some have grown as short. So this is how food is helping your body because it contains nutrients, and nutrients keeps your body healthy. Eating a single nutrient is not going to help you. You require different nutrients. Which is going to be provided by having a variety of food items in your food. Okay, so let us revise for the importance. The living things need food for their survival. The food acts as a fuel and provides energy to do work and play. It is essential for your growth. It repairs the wear and tear of your cells. Food also protects us from different kinds of diseases and it keeps you healthy. Okay, then. The next question 
from me to you is to eat same type of food every day what if mamma cooks only dal rice morning afternoon night throughout the week she plans to give you only dal and rice will you like it no even she won't like to cook same and give you same every time right so we eat different kind of food at different times if suppose you are having a lavish breakfast yeah it was a really good breakfast but same thing you cannot have for lunch you cannot have for dinner she makes something else there is variety of food that we eat variety of food throughout the day that is consumed it is not only the day but throughout the week we are consuming so many things so many new dishes now uh, on youtube also many different things small small uh, recipes are coming up which you like to make so you are busy in the kitchen making something right so there is variety of food not only throughout the day throughout the week throughout the month in the school we have a proper lunch menu for the month if you must have seen which consists of variety of food it has your chapati then we have one type of dal rice we have um, some sweet to be given on a particular day so each day is planned and there is variety of food that is consumed you must be telling your parents to download the menu to check what is there in the school and you like going to the dining and eating it right you enjoy your lunch because it contains variety of food items you cannot keep on eating the same thing throughout the same you will be fed up saying what as if mama gives you the same thing in the tiffin every day you will just take it back saying no i don't want to eat what is this every day you are giving me the same thing so it's little bit boring also but eating same food will also not provide you with nutrients because nutrients are going to be in variety of food items that you are going to consume if you eat only chapati and sabzi every day all the nutrients are not going to be good right so we have plannings from breakfast to lunch and from lunch to dinner we consume variety of food now when i'm continuously saying about variety of food if you must be looking at the plate that is there in this slide it consists of variety okay now what are these food items made up of when i say now if you must have seen youtube a very good recipe of dalgona coffee was into trend okay so i think you must have seen it or you all must be trying different in recipes at home now that recipe is require some raw materials Correct. Like for example, when I say Dalgona coffee, it will require coffee powder, it will require milk, and it will require sugar. When you will mix all these things, it will come up into a wonderful Dalgona coffee. Okay. So when I'm saying different things are required to make this coffee, that different things are nothing but the ingredients that you are going to use. Suppose, for example, when I have uh, made a small a uh, slide about how to make a tea so here you require water where you require milk sugar tea powder when you mix all this thing and cook it gives you a nice tea which you enjoy maybe you must be preparing it at home for your parents and maybe sometime for yourselves right making maggi with that maggi noodles and that sachet which consists of masala you add some vegetables to it that becomes your ingredients so what are ingredients the materials which are required to prepare a food item are known as ingredients okay for example here to make tea if you see there is water milk sugar tea powder which gives you uh, the entire tea that is made okay so that is a food item that is used by making all this materials so the materials that are required to make food item are called as ingredients okay so to make any food item maybe we need many ingredients you must be trying at home so i think now you should try a small recipe at home and list the ingredients and send it to me after we finish this right so even i would like to try your uh, recipe by using all this ingredients so now i think you have understood about the importance of food why variety is ne uh, necessary in our food yes because it contains many nutrients it is going to provide you with energy it is going to provide with good health it is going to provide it act as a fuel to your body so eating good not only good food but healthy food is also essential correct and 
ingredients when you use something some materials to make a food item that materials are called as ingredients a small thing that you are going to do after this is try a small recipe collecting different ingredients list the ingredients write the recipe and send it to me okay thank you children